children in this video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table panti taught me how to represent data in a table after collecting it i can easily find out how many types and the counts of the hairpins i have with the help of a table so first of all i will make groups of similar hairpins first group of cloth hairpins second group of diamond studded hairpins third group of hairpins with roses and leaves and fourth group of hairpins with beads now i will count the hairpins in each group i have six hairpins made of cloth three diamond studded hairpins four hairpins with roses and leaves and one big hairpin with beads now i will represent all the data by making a table like this the number of cloth hairpins is 6 the number of diamond studded hairpins is 3 the number of hairpins with roses and leaves is 4 and the hairpin with beads is 1 wow i am having fun come on now let me find out how many chocolates of which shapes do i have so first of all i will group chocolates based on their shapes first of all group of circle shaped chocolates second group is star shaped chocolates and the third group is of heart shaped chocolates now i will count the chocolates in each group in the first group five circle shaped chocolates in the second group four star shaped chocolates and in the third group there are three heart shaped chocolates now i will represent all this data by making a table like this the number of circle shaped chocolates is 5 the number of star shaped chocolate is 4 and the number of heart shaped chocolate is 3 wow by collecting data like this i can remember so much information easily children today in this video we saw some interesting examples of collecting data and representing it in a table in the next video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table Thank <music> you.